Captain, an industry team has for the first time destroyed an aerial target using a high-power shot with its Dragonfire laser, the British Defence Ministry announced Friday. The trial with the direct energy weapon is considered a significant milestone toward the deployment of the system. Possibly within five years efforts to quickly field such weapons are partly driven by conflicts in Ukraine and near the Red Sea, where expensive air defense missiles are used against cheap but effective drones. The cost of operating the laser is typically less than £10, US $13, per shot, the ministry noted to the industry team, led by missile maker MBDA, with partners Leonardo UK and Kinetic, is the key element in a £100 million joint investment with the ministry to develop directed energy weapons across several programs, including radio frequency direct energy weapons. The mod said the Dragonfire test results are a major step forward in bringing the laser technology into service. The latest milestone follows a series of trials announced by the Ministry late last year, including the first static high-power laser firing of a UK-made capability as well as the demonstration of the Dragonfire system's ability to track moving air and sea targets with high accuracy, Shimon Fina, who directs the Ministry's strategic programs, said the recent trials proved the technology can track and engage high-end targets at range. The government was looking to accelerate the next phase of the program, he explained the mod had already announced its intent to progress directed energy weapons into a so-called transition phase. This is meant to prepare the military for the eventual fielding of directed energy weapons by communicating safety measures, implementing training, creating operational concepts and doctrine, and so on, the spokesperson explained Doug Berry, an air warfare analyst at the London-based International Institute for Strategic Studies think tank, said the UK's progress on laser technology is going well. There is a lot of work going on in countries like the US, Russia, and China, most of it classified. But the UK has a long history in laser and radio frequency work, and while we can only dream about the funding levels countries like the US obtain, we managed to squeeze quite a lot out of our funding. It's transitioning the technology to the marketplace that is the problem, he said, the British Army and the Royal Navy are each interested in using the technology for air defense. Naval News reported last year the MOD was looking at the retrofit of a 150-kilowatt class laser-directed energy weapon for new Type 26 frigates beginning in the early 2030s. The ministry declined to provide Defense News with technical details of the Dragonfire, including its range and power levels. Media reports previously put the power level around 50 kilowatts.